Today we're making an unbelievably easy but oh so delicious dessert. <gasps> Today we're making an amaretto ricotta cheesecake. Oh, so delicious, so easy, so easy. You're gonna love it. Yes, please. For a full copy of today's recipe, check us out on Facebook or wait till the end of the video. It's gonna be right there. So let's do this. Oh yeah. Just like that. And now here I have my nine inch spring form pan that I uh, lined with a sheet of parchment paper, sprayed it thoroughly, thoroughly with a nonstick cooking spray. And I also lined the bottom with um, a heavy sheet of foil. That's important to do because these uh, pans are notorious for leaking. So now we're gonna get this into there, just like that. And then for the topping, we're gonna sprinkle with some sliced almonds. You're gonna need about a cup, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Depends on how many almonds you want. You just want to get them nice, evenly distributed right on top. And now it's ready for the oven. So into the preheated 325 degree oven, it's going to go for about 75, 80, maybe even 90 minutes. You're going to see this is going to poof up significantly, but it'll flatten out again. Don't worry about that. The almonds should get nice golden brown. And you'll see the cheesecake underneath will have a nice golden brown hue too as well. All right, you can always do the toothpick trick. Stick it in, comes out wet, not good. Dry, it's good. <laughs> All right, and keep an eye on the almonds. If they start getting a little too dark, just put a piece of foil on top. Check around the 30 minute mark, but into the oven's gonna go. <gasps> Can't wait. So about 82 minutes later, I pulled it out. It's done. <gasps> Look how poofy it is. It's huge, but don't get excited. It's gonna flatten out a lot. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is allow this to cool in the pan for probably about a half hour, pop it out. Then comes the hard part. We're going to put it in the fridge, let it cool for at least two to three hours, ideally overnight. So you want to make this the day before, but oh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, I tell you. <laughs> and now it's time to give it a try. That's what happens when you don't let it cool long enough. <laughs> it's still going to be delicious. Bon appetito. Mmm. Mmm. So light, airy, creamy. You get the crunch of the almonds. Um, but you just get all that beautiful amaretto. Ah, uh, I just want to hug this cake. I do. <laughs> it's so good. You need to try this. And if you do, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks. Um, so good. What about that drink? Let's do it. Alrighty, so for today's amaretto, oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> We're gonna start with one ounce of amaretto. We're gonna do two ounces of vodka. One and a half ounces of strawberry daiquiri mix. Two half ounce of lemon juice. We give us a good shaky, shaky, and we pour. Let's see, ah, oh, look at that beautiful color. <gasps> it's like love. <laughs> Time to give it a try. Salute. <sighs> Ooh, there's a lot going on with this one. You get the amaretto, you get the vodka burn. <laughs> it's a little sweet. But a lot strong. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> and look at this. Look at this romantic looking drink. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Uh, seriously. <laughs> so if you try this drink, let us know. <clears throat> if you tried that amazing, amazing, amazing Amaretto Ricotta cheesecake, <gasps> you are going to love it. The fact that it's so easy, you're going to love it even more. <laughs> let us know that too. We'll see you again soon. Love you guys.